Hello YouTube, right now I'm going to be showing you is how to create your own custom pattern on Photoshop CC. Um, this also works for Photoshop CS6, CS5, and I don't know, anything before that I guess. <clears throat> You're going to create your your canvas. New, I'm going to go 300 by 300 by 300. Um, you can do whatever it is you want. And um, I'm going to go to my shapes. And this basically will take you like around a minute or two to do. Um, depends how how fast you work or whatever it is. Now I'm gonna do a clover. I'm gonna select the color of it to be green. I like that one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select this, the background and the shape layer, by con pressing Shift or Control, whichever. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna go your selection tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and align it in the center and in the middle. Now. Um, Go to your shape. You're going to go to Filter, Other, Offset. Uh, just click OK. And here you're going to type in half of whatever your canvas is. Since I used 300, I'm going to do half of 300, which is 150. Make sure Wrap Around is selected and click OK. As you can see, it's sent it to every corner. Um, that's good. That's what you want. Now, <clears throat> what other shape we can use? You can do whatever basically, but if you want to keep doing the clover, I guess we'll keep doing clover. And maybe have it changed to a different color, like a darker green. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select that and press control and select the background layer. So it's going to be the shape layer and the background layer. And I'm just going to go ahead and go to my selection tool and I'm going to center it again. And there you go. Now, um, here is where you can play around with it. Um, if I go to green and maybe do like a nice little whatever green and put it on the back, um, <clears throat> uh, that's going to be my pattern. You can do basically whatever it is you want to do, whatever color, whatever shape, you do it. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and click shift, select all of them, and then I'm going to go to edit. And then I'm going to go ahead and press define pattern. And name it whatever it is you want. Press OK. Now let me show you what we've just created. I'm going to go to New. I'm just going to keep it like that. And then here I'm going to put a, a gray. I like a gray. I always add like a medium gray or something to my thing whenever I'm going to use patterns or gradients or whatever. So I'm going to fill that with that. And then I'm going to go to FX. You can either Go there or right click on it, but I'm going to go FX Pattern Overlay. This will open up and here is my pattern that we just created. And then here you can scale it down, scale it up, what? It's real nice. Mm, and that's it. That's how you create your pattern. Like I said, it takes you less than a minute, maybe two minutes at most if you don't know what you're doing, but yeah. Mm, that's it. Don't forget to rate. Rape. Oh my god, seriously. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Bye.